I'm Terry Laughlin, founder and head coach of Total Immersion Swimming. Today's video is about the question of speed. It's a very multi-layered question when you're going to swim in open water or triathlon. So I've been swimming in open water myself for quite a long time. I swam my first open water marathon nine miles across Long Island Sound in 1972. I swam my first race, uh, uh, competing with other people in other words, uh, in a uh, Jones Beach lifeguard competition in 1973. Um, and I, I still race very frequently today. I love open water racing. Uh, I, I race really avidly and like to do well. So behind me you see the beautiful waters of Kailua Bay. This is the iconic spot of the Ironman World Championships. And every October, 2,000 athletes line up in here and when the gun goes off, they rush off madly like a herring run. Um, and it's very easy when you're in that or any triathlon start to get caught up in the emotion and the urgency of the moment and feel like you have to keep up. Um, in order to avoid getting caught up in it and be able to swim your own best pace so that you get out of the water fresh and can do your best on the bike and run, it's really important to be able to take a step back. And you need to be able to take a step back long before the race starts, right from the start of how you think about swimming, how you plan your training, uh, and think about the race itself, what you're preparing for in the race itself. And uh, in doing so, you're going to think about how urgent, how important is speed. Now, in doing that thinking about swimming, you're coming in as someone who's new to swimming, you feel like you don't know a lot, and you're hearing from every quarter how important it is to swim fast, how important it is to turn over more, how important it is to pull, to pull harder so that you can swim faster in training so that you can swim faster in the race. It probably doesn't occur to you to stop for a moment and think, well, is it really important to swim fast? And so let's take a look at that. Well, let's be clear on one thing. I'm not talking about swimming slowly. What I'm saying to you is you can get faster, but you can do it by actually swimming more easily and more efficiently, and that you're going to have a much better triathlon if you take the efficiency route rather than the trying harder route to swimming faster. I have another friend named Mike Joyner. He's an MD and he's the head of exercise research for the Mayo Clinic. He's also a pretty accomplished athlete himself, ran a 225 marathon while in medical school, and in his 40s, he swam 1,500 meters in under 21 minutes. In his 50s now, he's doing triathlon and is still quite serious about swimming well. And so I put the question to Mike, can you quantify, is there a conversion factor between the three disciplines of triathlon? So Mike says, actually, there's a rough guide, there's really very little payoff for putting more effort into your swimming. A heartbeat is worth about two to three times as much on land in terms of more speed than it is in the water. And the strategic triathlete is going to save as many heartbeats in the water as possible to spend on land because the payback for spending heartbeats on land is far greater. So in other words, you want to swim easily to finish feeling fresh and have a lot of energy when you run and bike because then you will really make a, a big difference in your, in your total time for the triathlon. So the starting point for this is actually be able to define efficiency in terms of swimming faster. And there's two ways to define efficiency. One is functional definition. The functional definition of efficiency is that you can swim the distance you want and the pace you want as easily as possible. The empirical definition is that there's a stroke length that's right for you. The best freestyle swimmers in the world, when they're competing at world-class levels, convert about 55% to 70% of wingspan or height into stroke length. If you're swimming within that range of stroke counts, 
then you're practicing efficiency. If you're swimming more strokes than the highest stroke count in your range, what's happening is rather than move yourself forward with each stroke, you're moving the water around. So once you know your range, then you have power to swim in the right way at any time, on any repeat, at any speed. My personal efficiency range in a 25 meter pool at six feet tall is about 16 to 19 strokes. What I'm aware of is that I'm going to optimize my speed in open water swimming when I'm swimming at a stroke length that results in a stroke count in a 25 meter pool of 17, 18, or 19 strokes. As soon as I move above 20 strokes, I'm wasting energy. If I move to 21, 22 strokes, I'm wasting so much energy that in an open water race, I'm just going to get tired and I won't end up swimming faster. The question you ask yourself is you look at your rate, you look at your personal efficiency range, and you count your strokes. And then you are, you are either able to swim within that range or you're not. You're above that range. So if you're above that range, you need to do two things. Number one, you need to master the skills of what we call effortless endurance. And that is number one, shape your vessel. Have a long, stable, streamlined body line that cuts through the water easily. Number two, don't rock your boat. Transition smoothly from a right side streamline to a left side streamline with a recovery and breathing that allows you to keep your streamline position and transition smoothly. And number three, fit in rhythmic and seamless breaths so that you can carry on with those smooth and streamlined transitions for any distance. Once you're in your personal efficiency range, then you can start playing what we call the math of speed. And there it's a simple equation of at a given stroke count or range of stroke counts, incrementally, patiently increase the distance that you can maintain that stroke count and that tempo. Increase the tempo that you can maintain that stroke count and that distance. And when doing both, always, always be conscious of looking for the easiest way to do it because efficiency, not effort, is the way to swim fast, intelligently in triathlon and open water swimming.